Good morning, um, back at Rowan House. We're about to do our fourth episode. Hope you caught episode one through three. I'm gonna go to the coffee shop because that's my first stop usually every day. I'm gonna get Coke Zero, we're gonna check on the property, and then we're gonna order some cabinets, do an interview, lots going on today. Luke, don't fall. So, anyway, here we go. It's very cold, um, but I think it's gonna be warmer today. High's 51. Yesterday it was 37. Oh, cute! Look, their little gift bags. How sweet! Little cup with a little coffee, one single pouch. That's cute. All right, so let's go across the street and check out what they're doing. See ya. Bye. -bye. Bye. You can see they have started putting in windows. Um, they've started framing out the front. This is the balcony they're about to put it up. So right now it's just sitting on the sidewalk and um, hopefully they're gonna get a good clear day. They were gonna come Sunday while no traffic was here, but it was raining, so, and I think the high that day was like 27. So let's go inside, see what they've done on the inside. So here we are, this is one of the shops downstairs. Um, they've done a little bit of work. They've got our doors. You can see they've got all the plumbing done for the restrooms and the back part of the shop. And um, so we're ready to start maybe sheetrocking, putting in vanities and things like that. There's trash insulation everywhere where they've sprayed the ceilings. And the boys have been working really hard in all electrical boxes our lighting we're trying to really make it up to date and futuristic and modern thank you <laughs> you can see they've got the plumbing set up for washer and dryer so it's starting to actually look like a space now um, even though there are no walls we can actually tell where everything is going to go light switch click click that's where it would be. Yes. <laughs> We're about to go order some cabinets because before we did a layout of cabinets, but now we need to go get the bathroom vanities, also the kitchen cabinets. We're gonna get those ordered, actually pay money, <laughs> write a check, get the deposit down, and um, so we can get those rolling. Back to headquarters, back to Rowan House. She said, do you want to from Cindy's or V-Taco? And I typed in V-Taco and it sent back crack. <laughs> <laughs> Probably looking at me like, are you nuts? Because I had a dream the other night she was smoking weed. <laughs> she quit Rowan House and she said, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> so now I'm telling them to crack. She's in Hobo is like um, a name brand and it's pretty amazing. They make some really awesome stuff. So it's leather um, purses, wallets, and they're amazing. I have this one, loved it, and I still love it. And I carry it um, that all over Europe when I went. So it's just really easy to take, a little nice little purse. We're gonna pick out something um, to give away for our comp contest. We're gonna pick out um, maybe a Hobo wallet to, um, to give away to you guys. So you'll have a chance to win this um, by subscribing to our YouTube channel. So we wanna get something really nice and really fun. So I was kinda looking at these wallets. That's really cool, it's a metallic. Um, then they have the white metallic. Those are really pretty. I don't know, Luke, what should we do? Cause I really want our viewers to be enticed, but I also want it to be a great prize for them. You're asking the wrong guys. I I'm know. Luke. Luke is not the purse officiato. It's like an interesting brown though. It's a bronze, not brown. Bron okay, yeah, okay so it's okay, we're not gonna ask you to think. We're just gonna <laughs> let me do this, okay? <laughs> it's got this nice little storage there, but also a place to put your cards and your money. And it's magnetic. So how cute is that to carry around? Yeah. Alright girls, which one? This one or this one? Oh definitely that one. This one? Yep. Okay. Alright, so 
I like them big. You're easily persuaded. Oh yes, situation. I am. Because I like to hear what other people think. I don't want to always buy what I think. So, anyway. What if we do these yeah. with the yeah. stripes? Uh, so these are Spanx. They're pretty amazing. So we'll take this, take a picture, and then we'll let the customer or whoever wins these pick their size. All right, good deal. I'll bring them back. Okay. All right. Nice. <laughs> Everything. Hey, I'm Lindsay, and I've been working at Rowan House for February will be three years. Right now, I am at Mississippi State University, and so I just got on Christmas break, and I'm, every now and then I'll come back and work here. I am majoring in elementary education. It's scary that I'm going to be teaching little kids one day, like in a year. I don't know what to say. I'm not ready. <laughs> Okay, you're dismissed. What? You're dismissed. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm about to decompose this desk and rearrange because it looks cluttered. While I'm doing that, Luke is going to ask me Vogue's 73 questions. So this is going to be interesting. When was the last time that anybody asked you 73 questions in a row? Um, never. <laughs> never. Unless it was when my kids Unless were like two. Kid. Okay. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, how excited are you about life right now? Uh, eight. Describe yourself in a hashtag. Oh, hashtag hot mess. If your okay. life was a musical, what would the marquee say? Oh, crap. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> maybe that. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, crap. What's one thing people don't know about you? How old I am? <laughs> how old I am? Okay, yeah, how old I am. Nice. What's your wake up ritual? Oh, I get up, I drink 20 ounces of water, and then I go brush my teeth. Once you go to bed, ritual. Uh, I go get another bottle of water, and I um, take my vitamins, and then I knit. A lot of people don't know I knit. Oh, cool. Yeah. What's your favorite time of day? Probably lunchtime. <laughs> Dream country to visit. Ooh. Um, can I do it if I've already been there? Mm, yeah. Um, Italy. It's my favorite. What's the biggest surprise you've had? A baby. Mm. Heels or flats? Ooh, that's slash a tough sneakers. one. Slash sneakers. Oh no, I love heels. It's just depending on where I wear them. Vintage or new? Vintage. Who do you want to write your obituary? My sister, Anna. Who is your style icon? Ah, uh, myself. What are three <laughs> things you can't live without? Um, my Bible, my toothbrush, and lipstick. What's one ingredient you put in everything? Salt. What three people, living or dead, would you like to make dinner for? Bradley Cooper. Um, Elizabeth Taylor. And um, Harry Truman. He's a good one. What's your biggest fear in life? Drowning. Window or aisle seat? Window. What's your current TV obsession? <laughs> um, Paul Dark. Favorite app? The weather app. I Most guess, adventurous yep. thing you've done in your life? Just going all over England by myself. How would you define yourself in three words? Define me in three words. Driven. Perfectionist. Oh, I'm very versatile. I like to do different things. Favorite piece of clothing you own? My Spanx. <laughs> Must have clothing item everyone should have. Spanx. Superpower you would want. <laughs> um, I would love to be invisible. What's inspiring you in life right now? This. Best in best piece of advice you've received? Put God first. Best advice you'd give your teenage self? Um, put God first. A book that everyone should read. I like George Bush, George W. Bush's um biography or what is it, when you write your own autobiography? Yeah, yeah, yeah he wrote one. And I can't remember the name of it, but he wrote it. What would you like to be remembered for? That people would think that I was loving and kind. How do you define beauty? Hmm, it's from the inside. What do you love most about your body? <laughs> uh, <laughs> my hair. Favorite place to view art? 
ooh at um, the National Gallery in England or in London. If your life were a song, what would the title be? <laughs> um, these are hard, Luke. <laughs> if my life were a song, I feel pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Yeah, that's a good uh, one. That's the only thing that come to mind. <laughs> if you could master one <laughs> instrument, what would it be? The piano. If you had a tattoo, where would it be? Ooh. Probably inside of my wrist. Dolphins or koalas? Ugh. Dolphins. I don't really like either, but anyway. Dolphin. What's, what's your spirit animal? Probably <clears throat> a horse. Best gift you've ever received? Probably my children. Best gift you've ever given? Mm, probably a Bible. That's always, everybody's gotta have one of those. What's your favorite board game? Trivial Pursuit. What's your favorite color? Blue. Your least favorite color? Probably orange. Diamonds or pearls? Um, diamonds, definitely. Drugstore makeup or designer? Designer, the only way to go. Blow dry or air dry? Blow dry. <laughs> Yeah, it can't be your dry in this hair. Pilates or yoga? Oh, Pilates. Coffee or tea? Coffee. What's the weirdest word in the English language? Is snuffle up because a word? Dark chocolate or milk chocolate? Dark. Stairs or elevator? Stairs. Summer or winter? Summer. You're stuck on an island. You can pick one food to eat forever without getting tired of it. What would it be? Chicken. A dessert you don't like? Um, there isn't one. A skill you're working on mastering. My memory. Best thing that's <laughs> happened to you today. Mmm, I get to see all y'all. Worst thing that's happened to you today. Um. You get to see Luke. <laughs> 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 Best compliment you've ever received. Um. That I was intelligent. Favorite smell. Ooh, uh, verbena. Hugs or kisses? Hugs. The last piece of content you consumed that made you cry? <laughs> I had something funny, but I'm not gonna say it. Oh, Le Mis. We went to Le Mis. Lipstick or lip gloss? I'm a lipstick girl. Sweet or savory? Oh, I like them both, together. <laughs> Who's your girl crush? Probably Gwyneth Paltrow. Song you can listen to on repeat? Uh, anything for Mamma Mia. If you could switch lives with someone for a day, who would it be? Probably Queen Elizabeth. Oof, what a good answer. Mm -hmm. What are you most excited about at this time in your life? My children. Your go-to for having a good laugh? The girls. <laughs> at the shop. Your, aff your affirmation for today? What do you mean by that? I, I'm just reading your questions. Okay. <coughs> I don't know. The sun is shining. Well, that's it. Thank you for joining us, Emily. Yeah, thank you. And I've enjoyed answering these questions. Some oh, of them. 73 of them. <laughs> Did you get through 73? Yeah. Wow. Okay. It took us 11 minutes and 44 seconds. Wow. That was good. This is pretty good. Some of them I had to skip because I couldn't think. But anyway, you know. One of the things that we do here at Rowan House is lighting. We do a lot of different lighting for homes, either new builds, remodels, um, new construction. So um, I'm gonna show you today, one of the questions that we get so often is how do I know what size light to put in my space? So I've got things like chandeliers and um, you know what to put over your table. Um, entryways, lots of different questions. So I'm going to give you a few examples. So let's say that I have an entryway and my ceilings are eight foot tall and my space measures maybe eight foot wide by ten foot long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my length and my width and add them together and that is the measurement of the diameter of the fixture that I should purchase. So if I have an eight by 10 unit space, then I add those two numbers together. Eight plus 10 is what, Luke? Uh, 18. 18, good. So 18, so that should be the diameter of my fixture. So if I, let's say that I have a 20 by 20 room, let's say a dining room. 
20 by 20. I take 20 plus 20 is what? 40. So I know that my fixture is gonna need to be rather large or at least the space that I'm in. So if I take my tape measure and measure this fixture, it measures 19 inches. So this might work in my foyer if it wasn't too tall. If I have taller ceilings, of course I could use it, but the measurements and diameter is pretty spot on. Uh, but I know that I could not use that in my dining room. Now, if you see a fixture like this, let's say, let's say we're doing a bar in a kitchen area, of course we're gonna want our fixture to um, be almost as long as our island, or we could do a couple pendant lights. But this, you would need a pretty good size bar. But that's general. Generally, you take the measurements, the width, the length, add them together, and then that's the diameter of the fixture that you should purchase. Each block measures a foot, so I've got a room here that measures 10, 11, 12. So we've got 12 foot, 12, 13, 14, 14 feet. So again, I take those two numbers, 12 plus 14 equals what, Luke? Uh, 26. 26. So my the diameter of, or that's the length from this side to that side, whether it be round or square, is going to measure at least 26 inches, okay? A lot of times I tend to go oversize, but 26 inches is about the size that I would need. So with that tip, I'm gonna sign off. This has been episode four, and hopefully you've had a good time with us today. And don't forget about our giveaway. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Rowan on Wick, and peace out. Lindsay said peace out. Peace out. <laughs>